What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another video. Uh, these two females right here, I took them out to uh, clean their cage and let them soak. I actually just finished letting them soak. And when I soak, I like to give them like a, like a body, feel like body and stuff. And this female right here is the, the female from Thailand. Uh, she bred to my red monster male, the male that passed away. I have two clutches already to hatch from her. And she's filled up again with some more eggs. I just, while doing my inspection of her, I felt the eggs. And I can see that she's starting to dim in right here. And the last two days, she hasn't been eaten. So I'm going to put her in the lay box. I'm going to set, um, I have a lay box already set up. But I have to re-moisten the um, substrate so that she can uh, dig into it. But um, this female has, I believe, she laid... 16 eggs but some of them went bad she has about seven seven of them left i believe we can we're gonna, we're gonna go into the incubator as well so stay tuned for that she's a hybrid she's a possible quad head um so we'll see what happens with that i'm most likely going to keep a couple of those so that i can add that red to that, that red to my hybrid stuff uh, <clears throat> but yeah this is the the mother to the stuff that's the fem the um the, the half monster red babies I have again she is um, an import from Thailand um, and if you if you get, if you think you got a pregnant female um, the first thing you're gonna see is she most likely gonna be restless and um, she'll stop eating but you can also lift them up like this and when you lift them like this it's gonna force them to flatten their stomach and you'll be able to see the bulges in her stomach of an egg so you can actually fill them. Um, I, had a, I had a suspicion that she's gonna fill up because she her body was been feeling tight, like she was ovulating, but I couldn't feel any bulges. But um, now that she hasn't eaten for the last two days, that's why I felt her again while I was giving that bath. Um, I like, because a lot of them will use the bathroom and then they slide their tails and stuff in it. So I like to, uh, when I soak them, to scrub it off with a little scrub brush that I have right there and get them clean so I can keep them from getting any type of infection and stuff. And I do the bottom of the feet as well. This female actually was shedding the bottom of her feet. And you can still see a little bit of shell on her knees right here. It's right there. Um, her whole back shed. So um, hopefully she give me some more uh, clutches because she only got the, I believe, seven eggs. We're gonna double check when we go in the incubator. Um, but yeah, we're going to get the incubator set up. I mean, not the incubator, but the lay box set up for this girl. Get her in there. And hopefully we get a good clutch from her. Um, this will be her third clutch. I do got to give you guys an update on that second clutch from her. And I do have some, I think three left on the website from her. From the first clutch. So if you guys want some already crossed out um, Monster Reds. When I say crossed out, I mean... Um, because when you, when you get stuff from overseas, you're going to want to outcross it to other stuff that just hasn't been in the same gene pool for a while. So you want to cross it out to something else, and hopefully you get good results from that cross. Um, I did this cross because I'm pretty sure that no one else was going to do it in the U.S., so I wanted to produce. I always breed for myself first, and then um, the whatever i don't need goes to whoever wants to buy it similar genetics but i get exactly what i want first um i don't have to pay for it and i ensure that i know what's going into my animal so yeah i'm gonna get her set up but let's go um check her 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 um clutch and i think i believe it's seven um get these i'm gonna put them up first and then we can go check them all right guys so here's my lay box this is Starlight Ultra 25 gallon tub or 95 liters. Um, what I did to it is I, this is a screen to a 10 gallon um, aquarium. Um, I'll use that as a the screen. You can, if you don't have the 10 gallon um, top, you can do it just regular screen as well. But what I did is I cut a hole in the top. But, uh, the tub and then the screen right above it so you want to measure it out so you have enough space to screw it in and this way you can put the light right here so that they can stay warm while they're digging 
Um, because if they're too cold, they're not gonna be. So I like to put a light right here. Um, it still has space for heat to escape, so it's not too hot in here. Um, so here's the heat bulb right here. That's gonna sit on there just like that perfectly. It doesn't doesn't really wobble or anything like that. So it's a, so it's uh, very safe. Um, you have to actually knock the bin over to get this out of here or pick it up like that. So what I do is I have um, sand and vermiculite mix in here. And it's been a, been a few weeks, about two weeks since the last one laid, so it's all dried out. So what I have right here is some water, and I'm going to add water in here so I can get it to the same consistency as um, when you incubating the eggs. Uh, you want it to be firm enough to stay together, but not too wet that you're going to drip some water out when you squeeze it. So I started a little bit of water and worked my way into uh, completion. You don't want to put too much, then you're gonna to have to add more dirt, and then eventually you're gonna need a new box because you have too much dirt and sand in here. So I like to break up all the clumps to make it look like when you first set it up. Like I said, you don't want to add too much water because you're going to have to add more substrate. And if you're out of substrate, then you're just going to be out of luck, especially if it's at nighttime and stuff, are, stuff is closed down. So start with a little bit and work your way into your desired. Consistency. So I know right now I need some more. It's almost there though. See how it's holding this form, but it's still crumbling a little too easy. You need her to be able to dig a tunnel without the tunnel collapsing on her. That's why you need that consistency. I'm gonna pour the rest of this in here because there's only a little bit left. And that should be enough. And you make sure you dig down to the bottom where it's very dry yet, so that when she dig down there, she doesn't collapse the tunnel on her because it don't have enough to hold itself together. See, it's starting to clump up by itself now. Yeah. And then once you get it to the consistency you want, you want to pack it. I like to do mine at like an angle. So say you'd be making nothing over here. Like you pull all the dirt to one side and make like a hill. And then you pat the hill down so that it's firm. And you add the female. I'm gonna put the lid back on here. And I have this on the light switch just down here. And this stays on all the time. It is just not on the timer. I cut it off as I as I feel need, and if she take a couple days, you want to take her take her out and make sure she's hydrated. So take her out, soak her, and then put her back in here and make to the, make sure the soil stays at that same consistency, so that she has some place to dig. If it gets too dry, she's not going to lay, or she will lay on, um, and they dry out fast. So. So it may take her a couple of days. She just stopped eating. So they, sometimes they get in there and dig, start digging right away. And sometimes it take them a couple of days to get everything 
um, move down to the over ducts and start going into labor. Sometimes it's like right away. Um, but she did stop eating, so it should be very soon. I wouldn't be surprised if she lay in, laying through the night. Um, but yeah, um, let's get into those eggs and see how many of those hybrid ones are still viable. This is that cluster to surprise uh, hypo zeros in it. But this is this is her clutch right here, the hybrid. Yeah, I marked this China red male times orange hybrid female pos head with trans hypo and zero. Uh, two two more eggs went bad. Like I said, originally it was like uh, seven, 16 or 17. Uh, let me get these two out of here. Actually, I'm gonna leave them. They're not touching anything, and they're not molding too bad, and they're very close to being hatching. So around the 15th, they should hatch. It take about two months for the babies to hatch. So see, these was a couple days early. That one should have. It's like 58, 60 days, or something like that. So these ones should be hatching soon, maybe a week and a half. Um, so I'm just going to leave them. The mold is not touching any of the good eggs. So we got one, two, three, five more good eggs. I'm waiting to see how those turn out. And also, this clutch right here, which is the Hypo Red Pos Head Trans, bred to a leatherback whitblit. That's Head Hypo Pos Head Trans and Zero. So we won't know anything about the Trans and Zero on that because the um, male is only possible uh, head trans unless something happens like with this clutch and some there's some hit heads in there that we don't know about but according to what we know for facts um, we shouldn't get anything any trans or any whiplets or zeros from that clutch but we should get hypos and they should be nice and red. The female has a good good amount of color for a wood blit. It wasn't from a very colored up line, but now here's the picture of that pairing uh, for this for this one right here is the hypo whiplet and the not a whiplet head hypo and a hypo red male. I think I showed them on the previous video, I mean on a vi uh, video prior, but this is that was a picture of them, so yeah guys so i'm going to end the video here finish cleaning up here uh, get home uh, get ready for tomorrow so and if you guys don't know what a monster red is um the male that i bred to her did pass away but i have his sister i'm gonna show her real fast before i end the video all right guys this is his sister he was slightly darker in the, in the head area but she's pretty close to what he was. So just imagine this being a male bred to that bred to this female. So yeah. Monster Red bred to Thailand import. And get her back in her cage. And I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks again for watching, guys. Till next video, I'm out. Peace.